Modern-day lumberjacks are cruising the Ottawa River. This time, they've traded their axes for scuba gear. Just what are they up to? Here's a look below the surface of lost logs. Great dive. A lot of, after going over that place about twice, still a lot of nice logs. Deep below the surface of the Ottawa River, there's a new breed of lumberjack at work. They're not cutting logs down, but raising old growth timbers that slipped from beneath log booms years ago. 10% of the trees cut by timber barons like J.R. Booth ended up on the bottom of the river in the 19th century. And that's interested Ottawa entrepreneur Gord Black. There was a huge fire in Ottawa in 1905, so there's a lot of history involved. J.R. Booth stopped taking any logs at the mill in Ottawa while he continued to cut logs in the bush and run them down the river. And after a period of time, sitting for almost two years before they were sent to the mill, they got waterlogged and, and sank. So after 100 years sitting under the water, why isn't this wood rotten? The reason the logs don't rot is uh, no oxygen, very lack of oxygen, cold water, uh, no sunshine. They're basically hidden down there. Each log still carries the brand of a baron, and the number of stamps on the end tells you where the log was from and what year it was cut down. The first thing Gord needed to do was to find these lost logs. We got an idea where we would expect to find these logs in history by the use of archives. Once we'd located what we considered uh, quantities of wood, we did side scan sonar. It is pretty precise as far as telling you the volumes you can expect. And you can do wide areas with side scan. Scuba diving was the way to go, not only for efficiency, but to actually rope and lift the logs. Dragging them on the river's bottom would have caused environmental havoc. Once it's cut, the wood must go through another drying process, a different secret recipe for each type of wood. This is done in a kiln, but the exact temperatures inside are a trade secret. The end product is a wood with a unique strength and look. This is old growth timber that grew under a very thick canopy 150, 200 years ago. And uh, when it grew, it grew very slow. So the rings are very, very tight and very dense wood. Who would have thought that some of J.R. Booth's original logs would have made it back into his estate over 100 years after it was built? Booth would surely have been a satisfied customer. 